This mom is so weird. She didn't let the doctor cut her son's umbilical cord in order to keep him out of pain. The son grew up, but the umbilical cord is still hanging on the body. Just convenient for the mother to control her son at all times. My son wanted to draw, but my mother was afraid he would get it all over his body. My son wanted to play in the water, but my mother was afraid he would catch a cold. People go out to walk the dog, she is out to walk the baby. When I came to the supermarket, my mother wanted to buy a drink and ended up spilling it on the floor. This is when a big hand came over and it was a gentleman. During the conversation, the two of them had a good feeling about each other. The son who was playing noticed his mother's abnormality and was afraid that the man had stolen his mother and angrily dragged her away from the supermarket. After putting her son to bed at night, the woman remembered the man during the day and couldn't help but hide her face and cry. Soon, the son reached the age of school. The son, who had never been away from his mother, became socially afraid. Two children didn't want to play with him and even pulled his umbilical cord to play games. The mother made a scene in the principal's office as a result. To better protect her son, the woman withdrew him from school, and no one came to bully him anymore. But the son did not seem to be happy. Slowly, the son grew into an adult and began to be attracted to the opposite sex around him. But he was mercilessly pulled back by his mother each time. One day the mother dozed off alone on the couch and woke up with a start to find that her son was nowhere to be found. So she followed the umbilical cord and searched for him. It turned out that her son was on a date with a girl. Just as the two were about to hold hands, the mother pulled her son back. The son couldn't stand this extreme love any longer. He grabbed a pair of scissors and was about to cut the umbilical cord. To his surprise, the mother fainted on the spot. So the son let go of the scissors and knelt down to ask for his mother's forgiveness. The two were reunited and once again lived a life of just two people. This day the girl came back to the mother's stall and the son deliberately hit on her, but was badgered by the mother. She drove the girl away. The son was so ashamed that his face turned red, but he never dared to contradict his mother again. As time goes by, the mother grows old and the son reaches middle age. From the mother holding the son at the beginning to the son holding the mother now. The only thing that remains the same is the umbilical cord that connects them in the middle. This time the son met the girl of his choice, but she already had a family of her own. The only thing he can do is to cast an envious glance. The mother is getting old and has very little time left. And this is the last night she will spend with him. While they were sleeping, death quietly took her away. He finally cut the umbilical cord that had connected them for most of their lives. As he watched the umbilical cord slowly disappear, the son suddenly woke up to an empty room where he could no longer find his mother's figure. The son's world instantly collapsed and he didn't even know how to live alone next. So, love should not be too full. Leave enough space for each other. True love is not about possession, but about letting go appropriately.